transformation in three, three two, two, one. Feeling stuck and looking for inspiration and motivation? Then our series, Daily Dose of Inspiration, is just what you need. Tune in for a few minutes every Monday and Wednesday and prepare to transform your mindset, boost your productivity, and unlock your true potential. Hi, my name is Claudette Esterin Campbell, and I am the president and chairperson of the Daughters of Sheba Foundation. I'm also a chaplain, a trained chaplain, and behavioral counselor. And so most of our content comes from that perspective, from my spiritual and my psychological or yeah endeavors in the field of psychology so thank you for joining us and stay tuned as our video is coming this series is part of our groundbreaking tips program packed with years of research success stories and proven techniques we've condensed all this valuable information into bite-sized actionable content that will leave you wanting more what sets us apart Join us each week and experience how Daily Dose of Inspiration can change your mindset and how you perceive the world. Trust us, your personal development journey will never be the same again. Ready to discover information that can be a game changer in transforming your life? Let's get Today started. It's August 26th and it's Women's Equality Day. And we want to jump into this topic today because it's such an important one. You might be wondering, why are we still talking about women's equality and gender equality in 2024? Well, stick around and I will share three things that we need to cover. It's the wage gap between male and female in the workplace. It's violence and harassment. And it's women in leadership. So let us cover the wage gap women in leadership and violence and harassment there are several other topics we could be covering under this but i just want to focus on those three today so stick around and share your thoughts at the end of this video let's start with a sobering reality the wage gap in canada where i live women can earn an average of 89 cents for every dollar men make got that Every dollar a man make, a woman earns 89 cents. Think about that for a second. The same work, women are getting less. This isn't just about numbers. It's about economic power and independence. But the inequality doesn't stop at paychecks. Look around the workplace. How many women do you see in leadership roles? Chances are, here in Canada for sure, not many. Women remain underrepresented at the top across most industries. This lack of representation, and not just in Canada, affects decisions, policies, and workplace culture. Talked about what, where you have seen forward movement. Where are we still lagging behind on this women's empowerment thing? Um. So I. Uh, so I, I, I took some some notes for some some statistics and I want to share them mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. So in the U.S., women owned businesses represent 39.1 percent or 14 million businesses in the U.S. And they generate mm -hmm. two point trillion, two point seven trillion in revenue during COVID. Women launched more businesses than than closed. And from 2019 to 2023, we have watched the growth of women's businesses outpacing that of men. So we see that happening. Right. But at the same time, there is a venture capital fund that has been put together specifically for black women. Okay. And the men have seen fit to stop it. They have stopped it? Yes. So there's a court case going on. So, so women are still not able to get their hands on venture capital money the same way that men can, right? We are watching... Um, now, let's talk about something we all struggle with work life balance for women this challenge often feels like a never ending juggling act why because caregiving responsibilities still fall disproportionately on women's shoulders imagine trying to climb the career ladder while also being the primary caregiver at home it's like running a race with extra weights strapped to your ankles but where things get even more serious violence and harassment i want to frame this 
by, because I think this is a very important question. I want to frame this by making uh, four points. One is that, and then I'm going to answer it. One is that women are, women have to understand that we are pre-groomed to be in these awful situations by men because we are generally speaking reared to be cooperative, complimentary, patient, give people the benefit of the doubt, et cetera, et cetera. So we don't come out of it. We don't come out of our childhood typically real assertive and careful and even questioning. We are compliant. That's how we're raised. Secondly, women, especially indigenous women, face higher rates of violence, both in public and at home. That isn't just a statistics. It's a daily reality for many. Fear of harassment can limit women's choices from career paths to simply walking alone at night. So what does all of this mean for our society, for societies everywhere where this is happening? And I bet it's everywhere. It means we're not using our full potentials. When half the population faces barriers, we all lose out. We miss out on diverse perspectives, innovative ideas, and balanced decision making. Let's break this down with a real life example. Meet Sarah, a software engineer and mother of two. She loves her job, but struggles to attend late meetings due to childcare duties. Her male colleagues with fewer home responsibilities get more face time with the boss. Result, they're more likely to be considered for promotions, widening the leadership gap. Now, you might be thinking, but haven't we made progress? Absolutely we have. But progress doesn't mean we have reached the finish line. It's like climbing a mountain. We have made it partway up, but the summit is still ahead. So what can we do moving forward? First is awareness. Awareness is key. Simply recognizing these issues is a crucial step. Next, speak up. If you see inequality in your workplace, don't stay silent. Support policies that promote gender equality, like fair parental leave and flexible work hours. Encourage girls and women to pursue their passions, especially in male-dominated fields. Remember, equality isn't just a woman's issue. It benefits everyone. A more equal society means more innovation, better economic growth, and happier families. Let's look at countries leading the way in gender equality, like Iceland. They've implemented policies like mandatory equal pay and quotas for women on corporate boards. Result? Consistently rank as one of the happiest countries in the world. But change doesn't happen at the policy level. It starts with us. Challenge your own biases. How do you react to assertive women versus assertive men? Do you have different expectations for your sons and daughters? Small changes in our daily attitudes can create ripples of change. Education plays a huge role too. Teach children about equality from a young age. Encourage both boys and girls to share household chores. Show them diverse roles in various careers. In the workplace, mentorship, can make a big difference but for you to give the benefit so as a woman it is very important for all of us to stick together and for us to understand the inherent value that we have and the power that we have and being willing to share that power through the power of networking remember that saying it's not what you know it's who you know it's always great to be able to, for somebody to ask you a question and you, for you to be able to say, you know what, I think I know somebody who can help us answer that question. So make sure that you're continuing to network. Particularly if you own your own business, that is imperative. Join networking organizations. There's so many um, networking organizations on LinkedIn. Um, and if you go into um, some other apps, you can actually find networking apps. 
um, for meetups in your neighborhood. Um, there are always, you know, things that are happening on a Friday evening. If you are have the ability to be able to swing by a networking event two Fridays a month and make one connection each time you go there, that just allows you to increase your network and increase, increase the number of people whom um, you can impact and who can also impact you. So that's really important, networking. The fourth thing is find a mentor. Um, I cannot stress the importance of mentorship. And I've had many people mentoring me in my life. Now, when I wrote my doctoral dissertation, my doctoral dissertation is actually about the black slash African-American woman and mentorship. And I looked at formal mentoring programs and informal mentoring programs and whether or not the race or gender of your mentor had any impact. Um, and the truth of the matter is that in order for you to get ahead... Remember Sarah, our software engineer? Imagine if her company implemented flexible working hours and remote work options Suddenly, those late meetings become manageable, leveling the playing field. It's also crucial to address the issue of violence against women. Support organizations working to prevent gender-based violence. Educate yourself and others about consent and healthy relationships. As we wrap up, remember that change is possible, but it requires effort from all of us. Women's Equality Day isn't just a celebration, it's a call to action. What will you do to promote equality in your own life and community? Leave a comment below sharing your thoughts or experiences. And if you found this video helpful, please like and share to spread awareness. And don't forget to subscribe for more content on social issues, women empowerment issues that matter. Thanks for watching and let's keep working towards a more equal world.